Hello, Mr. Biscuits. Are you interested in that? You're always very interested in that microphone, aren't you, my lovely? You're so tired. You're always tired, although you seem a little bit more active than usual, aren't you? Yes, naughty little biscuits. Oh, what if I got your tongue? What if I was like, mm, delicious biscuit tongue, roast biscuit tongue for dinner? Or maybe, mm. Hello, beautifuls. Welcome back to my Chanel. And welcome to another episode of Wife Swap Girls. This time, it's a little bit different. We're swapping dogs. <laughs> No, could you imagine? Oh, wow. scandalous. So, my lovelies, we came to the very end of all of the episodes I have available to me of Wife Swap Australia Girls. Isn't that sad, my lovelies? Australia Girls! Today we are going to be starting a very interesting series here on my channel, my lovelies! We're going to be watching Wife Swap New Zealand edition. These episodes are actually slightly shorter than the ones that are in... Australia. I guess this must just be a thing in Australian TV is you have like mainline TV slots or like an hour and a half perhaps with adverts. Does that make sense? Like for 50 minute show, hour and a half with adverts, something like that. Mm. Are you going to be sick on me? Are you going to be sick on me, Mr. Biscuits? So, my loves. The last episode we watched of Wife Swap was particularly interesting. Oh, have you discovered my chain? Do you like that? Are you nibbling that? My little hellhound. You can't nibble that. You did nibble Louis's lovely tracksuit the other day and I was like, oh dear, you naughty. Very naughty. The last episode we watched of Wife Swap, my lovelies, was quite meta because it was actually a YouTube family versus farm family, if that makes sense. Oh, have you found another thing you want? No, oh, tassels and tags and chains. You're being a difficult look. You're not tired, you're very nibbly. You, you can't go down there, not on YouTube, my little lovely. So the last episode we watched of Wife Swap actually created quite a, quite a conversation in the comments. I feel like every episode we watch of a Wife Swap franchise just seems to bring out the most bizarre discourse in the comments. And I welcome it, my lovely. Share any opinions you want in any of these videos that we watch here on the Chanel in the comments because I'm always lurking. I'm always interested to hear what you guys have to say. So, one of the top comments on that episode, my lovely, is by Diana Pearl. And they say, that crazy white sterile house reminds me of something my child psychology professor said. A healthy home for a child looks like a child lives there. All their clothes hanging one inch apart, no toys out, no personal space to express themselves, like their rooms. It's like living in a stranger's house. You are always on edge because nothing feels yours. I can kind of relate to this a little bit, actually, because if you were to see the state of my desk, you'd be like, my goodness, what sort of rapscallion lives here? Wouldn't they, Biscuit? Yes. They'd be like, how dare you? I very much love the phrase empty desk, empty mind. If your desk is so clean, clear, crystal, wonderful, like you're a TikTok lifestyle influencer who just pulls a book out of a drawer and writes, what to do today? Gets a coffee and puts it back. I think, no, 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 no. It's like that aesthetic TikTok of doing taxes. Like, no, that is not for me. My creativity, because I'm ADHD, is so chaotic and all over the place. If I was to have kids, I would expect them to have toys around the place. I would expect them to express themselves. I realize as a non-parent and as a child-free person myself, it's kind of easy, the grass is greener and all that. Don't throw stones in glass. How vile. So while I understand that it is difficult to be a parent and obviously that consumes your entire life and you still kind of want to have a household by yourself, obviously. If a child lives in your house, it's gonna look like a child is there. I don't know, yeah. I feel like you can instill quite a lot of things in beings by giving them the opportunity to express themselves. And as I've said, children need to be bored. If they're bored with the toys they have, that's where personality development has. Don't be like, oh my God, I bad. Eh. Um, I'll tell you what, Tom. I'll tell you what. Die. So, I have never watched a show from New Zealand. I don't think I've seen any of these episodes that we're gonna watch in this series. So this series has about nine episodes, I believe. We're gonna watch number one today, which is season one, episode one, girls. So any of my little New Zealand Kiwis out there, leave something in the comments. Yeah, leave a little heart. Leave a, an entire Kiwi bird, why not? <laughs> Can you believe that they lay an egg that's like practically the size of their entire body? How hateful is that? Grab yourself a beverage. I'm going to be on the Monster Ultra Fiesta today, although I'm just about to dash to the fridge and get one. My Ohrhänge are still out of action, so I'm very sorry. Am I? I don't know. Today's very strange energy in the studio today, my lovelies. I am pre-filming because I am going to be in Liverpool for Eurovision next week. I have to do a lot of work this week and I might just 
die. <laughs> so my lovelies, settle in, jump on an airplane with me for 27 hours and let's go to New Zealand, girls. Oh, and I know everyone's going to be asking where I have this necklace from and this top. This is by Killstar. The top is also by Killstar. Everything today is by Killstar. Uh. Tonight on Wife Swap, Tonight. a mum who's sick of being taken for granted a woman. swaps with a family where dad literally does it all. Does it all? Oh, she's become more like a princess. I get up at quarter to five every morning and do my housework. I wish I had a bit more- You couldn't pay me to get up at quarter to five in the morning and do housework. I mean, you just couldn't. So immediately I want to say that this version of Wife Swap is completely different to the Australian Wife Swap. Australian Wife Swap feels like we are very much watching a Michael Bay Transformers movie with the beach shot and the music and the dramatic reverb on the narration echo of the ladies. It's a lot. So we're gonna see a busy mum who's got it all, who gets up at quarter to five, changing houses with a father who does it all. Should I be a TV announcer? <laughs> no. Help, but then I feel that if you want something done, you gotta do it yourself. Yes, Expectations agreed. are smashed. Ooh, look at that Patience lip filler. is tested. Oh, Patience. Patience. Patience and girl. wives get pushed oh, to the limit. Oh, trampoline. Rules get oh. broken at every Jiggle that turn. Woman. Scrap all those rules apart from the cooking. No. <laughs> no. It's not happening. No. As they swap not lives for swap one life. No one likes cleaning toilets. No one likes scrubbing out dirty showers. Those sort of roles you should be doing anyway if your husband's at work. Sorry. It's the ultimate culture clash. Thank you very much. Oh. I mean, like, oh, are we going to have some traditional stereotypes here? So... I am very much of the opinion of if you want to have a family and let's just say not just like first baby it's like your 2.4 children you've had four kids you've got a, a, a breadwinner of the family whoever that is it could be the matriarch that could be the patriarch I do kind of feel that like there is somewhat of an expectation for the spouse to be the homely person like cooks and cleans make sure the children aren't killing themselves <laughs> Good heavens. And I very much am of the opinion that it doesn't matter what gender you are to do that. I feel like it's it's an agreement that needs to be made like uh, pretty early on in your relationship because those values are, they tend to sort of permeate everything else in life as well. If you have very traditionalist values where you say like, the man should always go out and earn a living and the woman should stay at home and bake bread. Like if you have that specific idea set of your values, in the early stages of dating, I feel like that's very necessary to discuss. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Uh, I'm sorry, what? Wine mums! On Wife Swap, New Zealand. Oh, she's white this time. Time to meet the meows. The meows! Here's Jackie and Jackson, who's three. Daughter Lewin, who's 12. Lewin. Jesse, nine. And here's mum, Lay. Mum. Hello, what? mum. My father knows Oh, him look first. at the dog! And then my father's thinking, oh, this is nice boy. I've got a daughter. And at that time he was single. And my father said, mm, oh, great. Parents I'm being like, go to on, my daughter. go on. <laughs> what do you think? I'm oh, not bad at eh? True story. <laughs> <laughs> you think it was well, they seem bubbly and lovely. Our daughter is name is Li Wen, and she's nearly 12. She is so good. I'm so proud of her. Mm. When she's playing drum, you will see, oh, she's rocking girl. Yeah. I was gonna say, I love her hairstyle. It's kind of taking me back to that MySpace era, like swoop fly hawk fringe with lots of volume on this side and the back. Jet black, love that so much. My other daughter is Jessie. Oh, she is so smart and helpful. Funny. Yeah, she is really good. Okay, so, so far it sounds like stable, lovely family. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good to be a mom. Mom is funny and she likes to play around. <laughs> I feel like they make the best mums, mums that can actually have like a bit of fun, you know, like not take life 100% seriously all the time, like fun mums. They really do set you up for like a thriving life, don't they? Everyone loves a fun mum. Look at this denim outfit. What is this? Have you seen the cuffs? Are they cut? No, what's this called? Collar. It kind of goes like, oh, bustier into the belt. Oh, she's a fashion queen. A household. Right. Daddy is a boss because I don't want to take any responsibility. <laughs> I just want to have an easy life. <laughs> yeah, so Daddy's... What's the phrase? Happy wife, happy life. I can't wait to die. Doing the more patient for the kids. All the important things is go for her. Yeah. 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 Hospital or school, everything. Yeah, I just do the easy job. Drop off, cooking, clean, that's it. 
to that. You know? Interesting. It sounds like they have a pretty solid dynamic. You're sleeping. <laughs> just sleeping. Relax. <laughs> I hope she can enjoy it. Have a rest. Oh, that looks delicious. Have a cup of tea and a drink, a cup of wine. And a watch A little movie. dipple of wine this for Mummy. Is with the Mummy's got the Chablis the mouth. Dad, son oh, Blake is 18, Liam's 15, and here's Mum, Emma. Mum. It's actually 23 years this year. We've been together. How old are we, 16? Um, nearly 17. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Wow, Matt but is Emma 16. is an amazing mum. I'll take my hat off to her. She can be. I find that jarring. I know that's very ordinary for like typical heterosexual couple, should we say? It's like, you met, we met in sweet 16, still together, 48, absolutely hate each other. Like, I feel like that's very typical, that's a very typical relationship. I cannot imagine, like at 16, I was a very different human being than I am now. I was a bodybuilding, black haired twunk. <laughs> Because I was like, no, I can't be trans. No, uh, raw eggs. And I mean, I still do the weightlifting now, but still, uh, much more fashion. If I'd have stayed with my first boyfriend who I met at, I think I was 19 and he was, uh, he was older. If we were still together now, I'd be, no, just not for me, no. Throw it away in the outside garbage. A bit over the top, but it's only because she likes everything her way and, and stuff. Okay. To the point where if I try and do something, she'll go, oh, you didn't do it good enough. So I sort of take a bit of a step back. Okay, all right. I get up at quarter to five every morning and do my housework Could you imagine? thoroughly. I do everything from like why? dusting, vacuuming, why? mopping. Why, like a house is a finite area. Why, why do you need to get up that early? <laughs> Floors, get the kids sort of breakfast and lunch is all done and yeah I sort of do my main like bathroom. Oh so actually I suppose that's something to consider isn't it? I don't know what school and education systems are like in other countries. I would say it's approximately half past eight is when you start in the UK. Approximately. It can change. It can be like 9am. It could be 8am. Anywhere between eight and nine is usually where like a state school will start in the UK. So like the idea of getting up at quarter to five to do housework, if you're doing that every day, does your floor need to be hoovered every single day at quarter to five? Honestly, I cannot wait to die. And that in the weekend, what I do a day, most people wouldn't do in a year. I do kind I of hate seeing people on their phones while someone's cleaning bad. around them. If you want something done, you've got to do it yourself. I'm gone by 6.30 in the morning and home by 6.30 at night. Oh, so yeah, they sort of have to get themselves up, organised and off to school and back. So we don't oh. really do much together. It's sort of like we, Paul and I would just hang out when we got the chance, but oh. otherwise the kids just sort of she do their own thing. She actually works as well. With mates and Liam just sort of games all day. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I do have some activities, but it's just yeah, rare, pretty much. Yeah. But we do interact every day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whether it's um, telling them off or... <laughs> or telling Blake no, or telling Liam off because he's screaming too loud or something. Well, we do it. That's interesting. It's like, tell us about your family. What's the first thing you do in the morning? Tell my son off. That's a bit like, mm. I know it's said with like a bit of a giggle, but I do feel there is somewhat truth in jest. And I'm gonna say something here. Apart from maybe one episode, we've kind of seen the fathers be a bit of like question mark. And I don't know if this is just like typical heterosexual culture where men are just like, expected very different things in the parental roles. I don't know. I kind of brought myself up, so, you know. I think I'm doing all right, let's be honest. Interactive. Interacting I just with really want to see what it's like from a different perspective of. She has to wake up at quarter to five every day to clean the toasty maker. Good heavens. Where the husband does <gasps> majority of the stuff and what it's actually like to, oh, you shaking know, and be, excitement. sort of have a bit more time to yourself. And, yeah. Right not run such a full-on household and work so much. Yeah, so it'd be really cool just to see how, how the other half live. Oh, interesting. It's the morning of the swap, Ooh. and Emma and Leigh are packing to leave. The weather in New Zealand looks I'm really gorgeous. anxious about going. It's just, it's scaring me. It's just unknown. It's, yeah, I'm terrified. I'm not surprised. Just worry about that. I would feel so worried about like a show like this. Just because I have very specific values in my life. Big titty lady videos on the internet. Praise Satan. Lilith was the first woman. <laughs> no, not really. And I don't know if I would ever gel with anyone outside of my immediate friendship circle, let alone go and live with them for a week and have to look after their children. Sound. Yeah, because he sleeps with me every day. And if I'm leaving, he might cry. 
The whole thought of coming back here and everything being moved around and like changed and messy is scaring me. So I mean, that's been one of my major anxieties about actually leaving and coming back. So yeah. But they've got so many pets. They've got a cat, a bird, and a dog. On my mind constantly. And four, ch two children. Need to pack for the party as well. If party. it's got a party, then I want this. Is there a party? Sparkly lady at the party. Oh, she's off. She's got her Louis Vuitton and her oversized hoodie. Sweater. Oh, okay. Confiscated. <laughs> You're gonna look after them, okay? Okay. I miss Thank you. Oh. Funny. <laughs> Where are the children? I guess they're probably at school. I don't know, just waving at them. Oh, there they are. Exit stage left. My tags have head on. Goodbye. For you? I will miss right. your turtle shell glasses. Right, let's go before I lose my shirt. I'm going to enjoy my She's holiday. Hidden. Don't worry about me. <laughs> Into the black vans, off you go. <laughs> that is the real thing. Snatched. Uh, Never see it again. I love you. I will miss you. None of the families know where they're going. I'm extremely anxious. I feel. Ugh. I'm so excited. Hmm. To try the new thing always is the best. Lay sounds so like level headed and wonderful. She's not like shocked by anything. She's just like, this is what's happening now. Fantastic. I'm looking forward to it. Are you? No. I, in my life, would be like, oh, are they going to have the type of moisturizer that I like? <laughs> Giggly lady in the back. Before seat. they meet their new families, Emma and Lay get a chance for a good snoop around their new homes. Ooh, oh, she's God. got a trainer song. Hello. The Lord's Prayer. This looks really tidy. Let's have a look. Oh, she's got a lovely mm. dress. Right. Nice and comfortable. Oh, little kids. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. I think I'm wasting when I was at home. Oh wow, she was, she she was so at home beautiful. immediately. My husband will be happy. <laughs> Is that an Oscar? I'm best wife. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll ask my husband to give this one for me. Oh, she's got a tattoo. <laughs> fun <laughs> mum with fun tattoo. Oh no, there's a little one. <laughs> a little boy. Feeling so anxious about looking after a really young child. <laughs> I can't work out whether there's three or four kids. Ooh. The ages are really young. Both right. wives have written detailed manuals a with the rules skirt. and daily schedules. Oh, look! Not an iPad. OK, so the, no, the budget is very small compared to Australia. Australia was like, Michael Bay presents to you the iPad child. She's dead. Immediate screaming. Household explained. For the first two days, they must follow these rules, but right. then they can write their own. Right. Hello and welcome to my Hello. home. My name is Lee and my household consists of five members, including myself, my husband Jackie, eldest daughter, Lewin, 12, Jesse, 9, and lastly, the youngest in the family, our son, Jackson, 3, is in yeah. Jack's son. Oh. Yeah, I think I feel better once I meet them. But yeah, right now it's just... She's yeah. very panicked. Nerves. Paul and I are childhood sweetheart, getting together at age 16. Wow. Jackie is a very hard worker, but he loves to have fun too. He is very helpful around the home. Wow. Doing most of the cooking. Great. And helping out with the children. That's going to be nice. Bit of a break. As from looking after the home, I am the manager at the dental practice in the Oh, so day. not only is the wife, like, full-time employed, she's also... A manager, which is a lot of work anyway, but she also manages the household. I feel like there might be a lot on mum's plates, actually. That is disgusting. Paul is working with a team shifts between overnight and the days. Ooh, shift we are work. sometimes like ships in the night, but it keeps us missing each other. Shift work is so like oh, anti-family, isn't it, really? Lewin is 12. She loves music, dancing and acting and is learning the drums. She is one of just nine children in New Zealand with teacher... Collins syndrome. Wow. You may have seen the condition in the Julia Roberts movie, Wonder. But I haven't heard of Treacher Collins syndrome, and nor have I seen the Julia Roberts movie. I have movie not heard Wonder, of it. So I don't know the first thing about it. I'm sure. Probably a lot of questions for Lewin. Who is a terrible cook? Oh my goodness. How oh, is. Oh. There is something that's a bit like, hmm, about self-confessed terrible cooks. I feel like it's such a fundamental human thing. Like, let's just say, 
let's just say you find yourself in the middle of nowhere. No, that doesn't make sense. Let's just say you find yourself without your wife somewhere, but you've got to cook yourself a meal. If you can't make basic nutrition meal for yourself to keep yourself alive, red flag for me, sis. Flag victory. Eat. And only really operates the barbecue. Ah. Oh, like he's that see. kind you of a man. Are you that sort? I make you every day. Barbecue I man. like it. The wait is over, and now oh, it's time for Lay and Emma to like, some Who is this? Families. Ooh. Hello, how are you? Hi. Oh, hello. flowers. Hello. Thank, thank you. That's beautiful. Oh, thank hello. you. Hello. I'm thank Emma. You. Nice to meet you. Hello. Emma. How are you? Oh, he hates us. <laughs> like, no. Time for a brow lift. Oh. <laughs> Where's That's my mother? Okay. Oh my gosh, Very the thank swan. you. Yeah. That is the sweetest thing ever. Mama. Thank you. I hope my boys were just as organised for your mum. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Hi. Hi. How are you going? Hi. Hello. Wow. Stand up, madam. <laughs> yeah. Big Wait. grown up kids on oh, board. Right. My name's Slay. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you I'm too. Slay, yeah. Nice to meet you. I'm Cream. Luke. You're oh. really handsome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Very handsome. There's another one. Oh, there's more. <laughs> Lots wow. of children. Look I at that kitchen. Oh, gorgeous. <laughs> are Welcome one floor houses? I don't know if this is a single story home. Is a one floor houses very common in like New Zealand? Is that a common like house structure? To our home. Hope you're going to have a lot of fun in here, no. Jesse Lee. Thank you so much. That is just it's beautiful. It's all very polite. I'm feeling polite a lot better now that I've met everyone. Mm -hmm. Everyone's lovely. The kids are super cute and cute. so thoughtful. Like the cards Socks. and the flowers was just such a nice touch. I actually feel sorry for them. I've gone to my house to put out with my boys. <laughs> it's like, oh. But no, yeah, it feels a lot better now that I've met everyone. Yeah. I know you are not a good cook. I'm a bad cook as well. Are you? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Takeaways are you day. bad cook? <laughs> are you joking? No, I'm not joking. Yeah. So you're gonna think about what you're gonna eat today? We'll figure it out. We're gonna figure out for the cooking. No worry. It's okay. Oh, she she is a fun mum, but I can tell she has a little streak of like, this is what we're going to do. Don't you dare deviate from the plan. I am onto something huge here. Kind of love that. Kind of love that. Sometimes, men. <laughs> sometimes cishet men need a bit of like. Go on, off you go, go and do something. Like, they need a bit of that, do you know what I mean? Yes! Are you dribbling on the floor? Oh, little biscuit. Human can eat everything. <laughs> so who does the cooking in your house then? My husband. Are you joking? No. Why is he, like, flabbergasted? Hey, cook. Table security. Hi. Table security. Hey, yeah, I think my dad's like finding the situation as weird as I find it. It must be a bit of a weird like, yeah, concept. So used to his wife or my mom doing pretty much everything. Yeah. Can I ask about this? <laughs> I'm getting the vibe. I may be jumping the gun here, my lovelies, but I'm getting the vibe very much of like, uh, what's the phrase? Okay, I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna say it, girls. Ah, slay me in the comments if you want. Weaponized incompetence. I feel like I'm getting the vibe. If you know what it is, you know. If you don't, it's when a man usually in the dynamic is like, well, if I try and do it, I'll always do it wrong. So I just don't bother. And it's so it's like, well, someone has to pick up the slack and that usually goes to the wife. That's the vibe that I'm getting. It's like weaponized incompetence of like, well, why don't you just do it? You'll do it better than me. It's like, that's not the point, sis. No. Is that tea? Oh, dancing. Why is a Monday, Monday morning trampoline? Dancing. Trampolining? That's what I On a Monday know. morning? Oh, yeah, you guys will have to teach me. That's what we should do. So I wish one for my wife. Amazing. <laughs> Rather to a surprise. Trampoline dance in the morning. I can't wait to die. It's very, what was that? Was the last episode we watched where that child was doing like eight ballet classes a week? Imagine being like, I do bunny trampolining 48 times a day. <laughs> it's ketamine and MDMA. Do you know, I absolutely love trampolining. I love really athletic things. I always love gymnastics and trampolining. And you know what I was told in school? There's not enough people in the class to do trampolining, girls. I know it! Cooking duties. Cooking. And after two hours roasting, the meal's finally Roast ready. a chicken. Oh, don't say chicken. Enjoy my dinner. <laughs> Thank Is it you. just chicken? <laughs> right, you're welcome. So what do you rate that chicken, Blake, out of 10? Four. About six. Really? 
some um death. It's good. Oh dear. <laughs> Not as good as a restaurant kind of chicken, you know? At least it'll fill your belly. Maybe Paul will be a little bit worried about me because I'm not a good cooker. And, um, mm, but I was surprised. I do feel like. Just keep it secret, please. Oh, can she cook? Is that the joke? It's quarter past nine and all the kids are still up. I've gone to bed. Um, yeah, they seem to have really late nights. And you know they've got school tomorrow and stuff, and yeah, it's just a quarter past nine. Oh, well, she does get up at like you know, four forty-five. You know, I just feel they for the toaster need to maker. Need a little bit earlier, maybe. I'm so happy to swap to this family. And uh, she's so up for anything. I love it. So I will learn lots. Nick, so stop. people like Lay don't make great TV, but they do make wonderful people in your life. It's day, day two, two of the wife swap houses. Day two the beach. Up super early. Bungalow. To Emma's Six kilograms walls. into the micro. Take me out, girls. Let's not bother. Right? What's this? Five forty-five. Hoover the rug. Yeah. Four forty-five. Should have tied a muck. Uh, do you know, do you know, do you know, do you know? I'm gonna, am I gonna sound a bit unrelatable content here? I cannot for the life of me stand hoovers that you have to like slightly bend to operate. I used to have a Henry Hoover and it would kill my back constantly. I made the conscious decision to go cordless a while ago. I love my cordless Dyson. The idea that I can just be like, oh my goodness, mess, quick, <laughs> done. Oh, it's so easy. You don't have to faff around with anything. So much easier. The Lois tire. When he's going anywhere, then we'll be mopping it. Mop the floor, girls. Oh, oh. struggle bus. Population one. Normally, I never can wake up at half past six. Crazy. Jesus. This poor wife that has to like do all of this and then have a full day's work as a manager. She's just looking after for everyone. Yeah, full time Emma's babysitter. Day under Lay's rules means a far more leisurely start to right. the day. So I'm heading to trampoline class this morning. Trampoline. Something I'm not overly comfortable with. It's I don't Look get exercise. At the filler. So it's going to be very interesting. She has had a little bit of migration on that lip filler. It might be worth some hyaluronidase and a reapplication, perhaps. But that's, I, don't, I didn't say that. You didn't hear that from me, yeah. But yeah, not looking forward to it one right. bit. Jackie did warn me that one of the other friends did it and had to take two weeks off. So I'm not looking forward to it at all. An elegant costume. Come on, girls. Bounce that body. You don't go high, instead you smooth push down on the trampoline. This now, looks like great this exercise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's so hard trying to balance. Them, like, Should I get a trampoline? Like it, so yeah. That's really awkward. I'm trying not to insult anyone, but it's just like I just can't keep a straight face. <laughs> I can imagine it. Well, the thing is, like, when you're pushed into anything that you're out of your comfort zone, a lot of people do respond with, like, awkward giggling. I feel like that's quite a normal response. I'm not really a giggler, but I do get, like, resting panic bitch face. So I'm kind of, like, panicked, but my face is like... How dare you? For when I'm immediately not the best at something. Do you know what I mean? Do you get, can you relate that? So I'm not surprised that she's having this exact reaction. Right, left, right, up and down. Yeah, down, if you're thrown in at the deep end, it's down. a little bit like, what? Probably what am I doing? I do again, but it's definitely got me interested in oh, actually like doing something for myself and like that and getting a bit more active. I haven't excited that much on It life. literally looks exhausting. What great cardio. So I think you were joking yesterday when you said to me you couldn't cook. I will surprise you. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> Comedy queen. Mm. She played me on the first night and made me look like a bit of an idiot around the kitchen, but um, hey, I took control, I managed it. Um, I'm not used to cooking. I don't cook every day. I can whip up a barbecue, I can cook some meals. She didn't make a fool of you. That's a bit strong. I feel like this is one of these men that's like, if you say anything that could potentially be perceived as a bruise to the ego, it's like, well, good luck. Like, I, no, she didn't, she was just like, no, I'm terrible at cooking. Uh -huh. That's not awful. That's not a hate, like, that's, that's not evil. That's not an evil joke. That's not there to ridicule you. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't know. Let me know what you think about that situation we've just watched there because I feel like I don't really like that scene. Further investigation is required. Surprise, it's good. Surprise, chicken. Yeah, he's like damaged ego there. He's like, how dare you make me look like a fool on television? Oh. In stark contrast. I've seen that look from men before and it's like under the table, he's like gripping fists like this. I do not like that, no. Jackie's introducing Emma to a place he finds some inner peace. Amazing. Wow, it's so big. It is. Jackie's extremely proud of his culture and where he's come from and he's, you know, always explaining it to me and he's really enjoying spending time with me, I think, to teach me and That's show me so how lovely. things are done. This one for oh, you. I would you leap at the your name, your family name, your your son. Yeah. And, oh, wow. uh, and wish on that. They would. So like I write him. all my family names on you, there. No, you just push your wish. Oh. You can't write too much, but you can your son or your husband. I want to be rich. Fortune. <laughs> Jackie has just been showing me a lot of their religion and it's really interesting. Just such a nice environment. I've learned so much. Wow, it's such an amazing experience. That's so cool. No picking grass. Coming here has just been like really neat. Like it's just showing you like that mindfulness and just to, you know, like stop and enjoy everything. Yeah, I feel like mindfulness is one of those things that actually, like it's very easy to say like, practice more mindfulness, everybody. Everybody think about what you're doing. It's actually quite a skill to be able to almost dissociate your future, which is what I feel like we're constantly doing it. In my life, I'm constantly planning for what's about to happen or what's going to happen that quite often, I forget to actually enjoy what's actually happening in this moment. Oh, little pesky. When I go in there, nice I saw section. you hang the, all the clothes. Thank you. Um, I didn't wash yours because... Um, it's all right. I didn't know if I, I didn't want to damage it. It's all right. Don't worry. Okay. I just did it. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah, it would have been nice if there was no washing for me when I woke up this morning. I think Lay is a very spoiled wife um, and um, maybe your husband doesn't know how to say no or ask for her to do more. So maybe you might learn a few things or two being here. Mm, yeah. yeah, I already learned quite a lot. Yeah, That's good. she's very much learned that she doesn't ever want to see you again, sir. <laughs> so what, what sort of things have you learned? I oh, think on I, the spot. when I get home, I probably will share some work for my husband. Yeah. Otherwise, it's not really fear. And she is a superwoman. Yeah, she is, she is a hero. Is she a superwoman or is she taken for granted? Were you silent or were you silenced? She working 12 hours, but she still can look after us for everything. What kind of life is this? <laughs> yeah. You know what? I'm Said with a giggle, but what kind of life is this? You know what? I'm feel shy now. What? I thought I was a really hard worker. True. Yeah. But when I see you and Emma, sorry. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Don't worry about it. Just take a minute. It's all good. We work pretty hard, but it's a matter of having to. Do you want to make more dinner for work? Oh, way to kill a moment. That was really strange. That was like, she was having a bit of like a heartfelt realization about like how someone else lives. I didn't exactly feel like she was maybe saying that he worked really hard. I think there, just from my opinion, just from my, like what we've seen throughout all of these shows and this one, this that specific moment there, I feel like she felt some, some kind of like uh, empathy for how hard Emma works to keep everything going. And she kind of extended almost like an olive branch there of being like, you both work so hard. Whilst he's literally just going, protein girls, get your protein. You want to make my dinner girls? No. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. We've got 10 of Jackie's friends coming for a barbecue tonight, so he's doing all the cooking and all the preparation and told me to go and relax. If it was our house, like Paul would be more likely just to fire up the barbecue and stuff like that. So yeah, it is quite cool to see how different it is. Have you ever cut yourself with that? No, when you're using this one, your finger not like this. You have to do it like oh. this. Everything you cut, 
just like that. So even you talk, you won't skill. be cutting your, your finger. I, well, I've said this before in like many of the other Y swap things. I feel like cooking is such a like, I was going to say syndicate. It's such a syndicate activity. Like everyone needs to be a bit involved with cooking, you know? If you're going to have a party or something, I feel like... Everyone in your household should should be involved with a little something, you know, a little bit. Of, even if it's just a little thing, be like, prepare the salad or, you know, whatever it is. Just something to be like, oh, yeah, and this was done all together to make this event happen. Previously on Christmas dinners, for example, I have very much been taken advantage of. Um, and all of the cooking and things has fallen onto my lap. And you know what was really lovely this year is that for the first time in a stable relationship, I felt like I was appreciated and it was absolutely wonderful. And I must also say, it's one of these things of you don't realize what your life is like until you experience something very different. I heard about what she's doing at home, doing working every day. And uh, I told her just get holiday here, relax. I don't want uh, she do too much work in my house. Keep warm. Imagine that other guy saying, imagine that other husband saying, I don't want my wife to do too much work around the house. He would never say that, would he? He'd be like, where's my dinner? Oh, it's a dumpling. Look at that. Yeah. Oh my God. I love hey, a dumpling girl. Uh, thank you. Yeah. My wife's here. <laughs> thank you. And, uh, Runa, Nikki, sit on the side. Okay. Oh, how is this gonna I mean, end? Really this this seems... Oh, really? Far away? <laughs> she look after all the ladies. Ah. Oh. No, I think and all the men. <laughs> okay, teamwork makes the dream. Uh, I've met no one before. Ooh, what's and that? Here they come with, like, A UFO like, flowers, of wine. wine. Mm. That's for sure, for sure. It's amazing that they have made me feel extremely welcome. I have never felt as welcome in anyone else's home as I have in their house. It's just been amazing. Just, yeah, one of the best experiences I've done in my life. That's so yeah. cute. Right, okay, the first thing we uh, welcome Emma to our home. Thank you very much. Oh, isn't that nice? This is not happening in the other household. Sorry. Here we go. I'm going to start missing my husband. Yeah. All, all the good time I will start to missing him. I would like to share with him. If he's here, it'll be great. Rule change tomorrow, so I feel oh, that I'm definitely going to I wonder what rules are going to change. By a certain time, especially Jackson, who's only three. And, um, yeah, just a few other things that I'm thinking might have to happen as well. I don't feel like we saw a section like this little vloggy what not to wear style portion in Aust in Wife Swap Australia. I don't think we saw that. Did we see that and I've just blocked it out? Because that whole show was just so dramatic from start to finish. I didn't really know what I was watching in every episode. Uh it's all changed all today. All changed, girls. And the Swap Wife Wives swap. are preparing their brand new rules. Feeling a little bit nervous because I don't really want to step on anyone's oh, toes and no, such, I've but had... I definitely think that there need to be That's some rules nice put in place. Jackie takes on way too much around the house and I just feel it should be spread out a bit more. There's, you know, enough people here that can help him. Today, the role is going to change. I really want to improve something and make her feel much more easier. I just don't know how she's handled her life. Like I think the husband is not going to like this. No, I can't handle it. If it's me, I'll die straight away. I'm pretty sure. She'd just <laughs> die. Mind you, I would as well. Hey, I'm hey nobody's guys. living maid. I've had a fantastic maid. time with you all this week. Right. However, there are a few things that I've noticed and think that we can improve on. Mm -hmm. So I've made some new rules and here they are. Bedtime. The kids currently don't have a set bedtime and everyone currently sleeps in the same room. You guys need to get a proper night's sleep before school. Wow. So the new rule is that Jackson needs to be in bed by 7 and seven. the girls by 8.30. Everyone needs to have a shower before bed to feel ready for sleep and be in bed on time. Okay, a bedtime is usually quite good. I think that going to bed too early is actually good for you because the time when you're sleeping you actually grow. Today is also going to be changed on my role, but thanks you guys to helping me for those past two days to follow the MS menu. So what sort of rules are you going to put in place for us then? Um, are we going to agree with them or are we going to disagree with them or are we going to like well, these new rules? Well, tough shit, sir. I don't know. Well, best you uh, let us know what these new rules are. Why is he yeah. taking charge of the situation? This is not about you, sir. This is about Lay's, like, this is how we're going to do things for a little while. Literally, what is it, like, two days? Literally two days. And he's like, well, are we going to agree or disagree? Like, he's so... It's all about me. It's my special day. This. I'm right. going to go through it. The first row is uh, the boy don't do any of the cooking in the house. So they're going to leave the home. So I think tonight we will help 
they're going to help me to prepare to cook the dinner meal. So yes. we're, we're going to work for, as a team. Yes. I'm going to do the main job. You guys probably just help me to... I will show you how to cut a veggie. Yes. So when you first arrived, you told me you couldn't cook. So yeah. now that all of a sudden you can cook and you're a whiz around the kitchen. So I've got a mixed signal here. I'm not sure where you're coming from. <laughs> I just um, want to give I'm you a surprise. Sure you want to implement this when you said to me you couldn't cook. At the beginning, I was thinking I'm making fun. And maybe if I say I can't cook, you will be so worried but this, about it. But this here is a serious, this is a serious matter. We, you have to be serious doing this. This is- Oh, uh, have I some fun. With you. Don't take, take seriously. It's cooking some chicken, not a dildo. Don't take it so hard. Oh, wow. scandalous. Jackie has so much to do in the morning, cooking breakfast, making lunches, and helping you all get ready for school on yes. time. I think the girls are more than capable to help yes. out. So the new rule is, Jessie's in charge of making breakfast and Lewin can make school lunches. Yeah. I'm actually not quite sure what to make for breakfast. Oh, we did you see that? She was so up for it. She was like, yes, we're going to do that. I don't know what to make, but we're going to do it. Like, how up and fun and lovely is that? See, this is the difference when you create a household that's warm, welcoming, full of fun, full of life, full of flavor, and full of, like, enjoyment versus running a house like a business. Like, you just can't have fun. <laughs> like, like this husband doesn't sound like he ever has fun at home, ever. It's all, everything is a problem all the time. Everything's done wrong. If he's not immediately had his needs seen to, there's an issue. Like, it's very that, isn't it? In the, our parents, our partner doing most of the housework. I disagree with that. So one. tomorrow we will share the housework and we will I disagree. Start well, at eight. okay, so since you've been here, I've done all the housework. Uh, I hang in the clothes as well. You've done the washing. So <laughs> now I've already taken that role up, so that role doesn't apply to me. In my eyes, you haven't done any housework since you've been here. Cool. I don't want to share the house cleaning. And um, he think I did less, so he Divorce. wanted to give me some more job to do. We're both going to do it. Why should I have to do it? Because when I've already been doing it since you've been here. Because you Well, if you've already been doing, been doing it, sir, what's the problem in doing it for another two days then? Ha! Doing it since you've been here. Because you're gonna be doing more help in the future for your wife. Well, I can, I can clean very well. I don't feel that she's done enough and she wanted me to reverse the role and me do all the cleaning, but I did all the cleaning today. I don't oh, feel like that man has ever smiled in his life. Have you seen the frown? That frown is like, I don't know how to express joy. I would like to scrap that rule. Well, <laughs> you can't, yeah. it's not a democracy. Do you guys agree? Yeah, I agree yeah, like, very much. Yeah. I just yeah. feel if he can do more help, for imagine, him, for if wife. this is what he's like on camera, imagine what he's like off of camera. Imagine what he's like in a heated debate. Imagine what he's like if he loses his temper. Not for me, girls. More help. For you should him, want to love and help wife. your wife to manage in your life. Future, that's all. Jackson's toys. God. The lounge has a big pile of toys in the corner. It's messy and they don't need to be there. New rule, all toys stay upstairs. If Jackson wants to play in the lounge, he can bring a few down at a that's time. A lovely idea. But they all must be put back upstairs when he's finished. Okay, I mean, I that's a very it. basic, like, household rule of just, like, put your toys away after you've used them, girls. Blah. Bring the toy in, in his bedroom. Everything I agree there. That. That's what I want to do. But uh, I didn't. <laughs> For the next two days, we're gonna eat dinner as a family on the table yes. together. Yes. I'm fine with that. And then you can you can go for your skating yeah. and back time on the 9:30, and you can go for your iPad and yeah, do your stuff. I'm fine with yeah. that. So that's all family the rules. Family dinner. Yeah. Scrap all those rules apart from the cooking, the cooking with the boys helping you cook, and I want you to reverse the role, and I want to apply the rules to you. I well, think get off, sir. Some hard time. <laughs> oh my god, the sun has decided to pay me a visit. Thank you for illuminating me on this day before I slay a disgusting man. Throw it away in the outside garbage. Oh, I do look really lovely from this. <laughs> what is that? I don't look like this. We're going to apply the one rule for the two boys, which is the, the cooking that, that they should be doing. I 100% I got your back on that one. The rest of the rules... I disagree with because they are already in place. Yeah, and yeah. And since you've been here, you've not followed my wife's rules in the manual, so I'm reversing these rules you've given me. So I'm going to apply these gonna be like, to you for the nah. next two days. <laughs> See if she enjoys her new rule. The polite woman laugh. Who is familiar with that? 
I have had to do it so many times in my life of just like, I don't know how to respond to this. So a polite laugh and a little giggle will hopefully diffuse the situation. This isn't, this isn't fun. I don't, like, no, to not into it. see if she enjoys her new rule that I've challenged her with since she hasn't been doing it. Everything I've ever... He said that, so he was like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The kids have wasted no Hate time it. applying Emma's no toys rule. No toys coming She didn't home. have a no toys rule. She was just like, no toys yeah, in the living right. room. Put it in there. Jackie has, like, been amazing. He agreed with everything and seemed really excited about the new ideas and hoping that so it stays stable, in place when Lake gets home. Example. That looks good. Yeah. Maybe I'm looking some uh, wine candy. Yeah. Put it in there. <laughs> Put a more wine oh, in there. There you go. Yeah. yeah. More wine. Despite the table showdown, Lay carries on regardless and preps dinner with the boys. This is a kind of traditional food from my hometown. Yeah. I'd like you guys to try it. I hope you can love it and enjoy it. Probably more. Probably more. <laughs> Good How job. encouraging. Well done. It's nice. Oh! I agree uh. with the rule that two boys cooking dinner. But Take I your shoes off in the house. Decide to break about it um, if she doesn't. Otherwise, your wife will have to wake up at 4:45 to hoover the floor again. Bitch! Rule um, out of respect, and I will probably tell the boys not to follow one of her rules. Emma's on a roll, and soon tackles Jackson's bedtime. Okay, and you go. <laughs> what does it say? You tell me. It's a sticker. It's a sticker. Yeah. A sticker. Yeah. <gasps> The mouse! A mouse! Yeah. Jackson's in bed with a bottle and it's 7.15 and it looks like he's about to nod off, so fingers crossed. Who hmm. was uh, reverse that? I don't... I don't mind. He thinks that is fear then. I don't care. I'm not really serious for everything. The funny thing is he's taking serious yeah. for every single thing. So the girls, seriously. one of their roles was to be in bed by... showered and in bed by... 8.30 and they took, they were fine. They just went straight off and went to bed. Um, yeah, so hopefully they'll keep that in place and I think it's gonna take some, a lot of practice with Jackson to finally get him to go to sleep. It's dawn at the meows Bye. and the first full day of Oh, Emma's look at new... that house. Do you remember when I, earlier I was like, has everyone got like a one story? No, that is a gorgeous home. Look at that balcony. Oh! I could sunbathe naked on that balcony. You are the worst. Rules. The girls were fantastic. They were up this morning cooking breakfast and making the lunch. People love and they a all task. They genuinely quite happy about it. They Giving no prompting kids responsibility. They, they just, actually yeah, really quite good. like it. As long as they're treated like adults in a way, almost like treated like with. If you give children some level of like authority of like this is how they're gonna do it. This is how you want us to do it. We'll put, be part of your plan instead of being like, you just go and do that. Uh, children love encouragement. They love it. I had to get up early this morning because I was making breakfast yes. for everyone. Yes. I'm really tired yes. because I don't normally wake up this early. Yeah. Meanwhile, Paul calls Lay to the kitchen. Oh God, okay, so here, here's just the basic reverse rule that I'll, I want you to follow this morning. Yeah. Have a look at it. Um, clean the main toilet. Uh, the shower, scrub the shower walls and the door and vacuum the family room. It's not a massive list, it's just um, a little bit more involved than just hanging out washing, because that's easy. No one likes cleaning toilets, no one likes scrubbing out. Punishment kink, he's got a dominant punishment kink. His head should be used to clean that toilet. Dirty showers, those sort of roles you should be doing anyway if your husband's at work. That's why I reversed it. Those sort of rules you should be doing anyway if your husband's at work. It's an easy job for works me, actually. Than you, I can apparently. Do, it at home. What, do, do we even know what this husband does? Apart from just shake protein shakers around the place. It's just me since my husband doesn't like me to do it. Because I've hurt my back um, 12 years ago. It, it was very bad at that time. My whole leg has no feeling on it. And I was staying in the hospital for about two weeks' time. But at that time, my daughter, my oldest daughter, was just up nearly two months and it was so hard for us. Sometimes I will have to lie down for one day after. I know how to protect myself now. It's a life, you have to learn it. She's so oh, lovely. What is he doing? No, I promise, if you walk all week, you'll feel great. Come on, I only have 30 minutes to sleep. 
before you walk to school. What? So we were so organised this morning with the girls being up early and doing oh. breakfast and helping out a bit more and making their own lunches that we had like an hour to kill before school. So we were trying to convince Jessie to walk, but no, she needed adult supervision apparently, although she's definitely old enough and considering the school's very close, she wasn't going to have a bar of it. So the whole family ended up walking Jessie to school this morning. Right, what's wrong And it was that? fine. We all really enjoyed the walk. Jackson and Jackie had heaps of time when they got back to get organised to go to daycare and work. Lovely. What a lovely morning activity. Oh, my husband is so great. I'm missing him so much. Mm -hmm. I'm really appreciative. He's been looking after me very well. Yeah. Not like poor. Cool. Sorry. Well, having okay. Lay here has taught me how to be a little bit more independent and uh, a bit more helpful around the house, as yeah, um, I've sort of taken control, probably shouldn't have, but she seems like a very good character, full of life, probably a bit too much full of life. There, see, there, see, 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 he can't control her, so he's like, she's got too much, imagine saying someone that you know has got too much life, she's, she's full of too much life, that to me is like, Let's pressure her until she gets broken and then can just be my live-in maid. That, disgusting. That to me is one giant red flag at the entire red flag factory. No, I've seen it before, I've experienced it myself. D absolutely not, Abs no time at all for men who think that their wives could potentially ever have too much life. Bin, in the bin, in the bin! Probably a bit too much for a life. Because normally at home, well, I do a lot of fun with my husband sometimes. I skid him and I make fun, and sometimes I just have a lot of fun with my kids as well, but um, uh, he's not that kind of person, so I stopped. Emma, she does a lot for us. It's made me realise heaps. Um, I don't believe this man is going to have a change of heart. So hopefully I'll be working on that in the future. I don't think he's looking after Emma. Emma just like a machine, running for 24 100%. hours, seven days, never have a rest. She's working and then cleaning, working, cleaning, working, cleaning, working, cleaning, working, cleaning. Looking Horrible. after that three is not boys. Life. Even his, her husband, like boy, baby, need to feed him. Come on, baby. Very that. Open your mouth. Very that. Cakes are on the menu at the meow. Cool, look at that. Perfect. Uh, yeah, better. All around the Butter. sides. So Lee went and had a hospital appointment chocolate? today, so she was home from school. So we decided to do a little bit of baking and spend some one-on-one -on -one time together. Yeah, and yeah, it was really cool. We had such a good time. Yeah. Whoa. Oh God. Just kidding. You just get eggs. I thought I was going to find my cookie to cut the stuff on my I was well baking. I also enjoy baking. It's such a shame that nearly every recipe is like, now put in eight kilos of sugar for 7,000 calories. I'm going to cream. Yeah, I've really enjoyed the bonding with Lee Wen, and I think, if anything, I've learnt that, you know, like, just give her anything a go. She's just so confident, and, you know, she tries everything. This is the difference drums, between a house that's yeah, run in encouragement bad, as opposed to strict. Hold her back. Perfect. So, Lei, what do you think about this process? I feel more appreciated for my husband, and um, I learn a lot, and also I learn a lot from your kids as well. You are really good parents. Well, we try to be the best we can. We're not perfect, yeah. mate, but... But I learned a lot from you guys. I... Thank you. Thank you Let me join your family. That's right. So maybe next time she knows how to play the game. in Hollywood or anything like that, you could get your husband uh, a, a best husband trophy. <laughs> Yeah, this one here, I brought my wife. Yeah, that's right. And you know what, at the beginning, I was thinking I'm gonna ask my husband to buy this one for me. <laughs> How funny I was. <laughs> but he is. Hey, I can buy this one next time when I go to Hollywood. Yeah. But he can buy it, you can buy it for him and it will have the best husband on it. Yeah, yeah. that's right. And he will say, what's the wife? <laughs> Because the girls have to Ooh. go to bed, so... She knows how to play the game. She knows how to talk to people. She knows very much how to appease someone like that, doesn't she? It's almost like he was like, Oh, yeah, you should treat your husband like that. Yeah, yeah, you get him a best husband. Yeah, yeah. It's like, ugh. We've decided eggs. to make some scrambled eggs for their dinner. The way I've it's been brought up to, you know, like the woman always does the stuff inside and to see that the roles reversed here has been, yeah, it's sort of opened my eyes up a bit more with, you know. Yeah, it's almost like gender roles mean nothing at all. And it's just we slot easily into family dynamics. 
after showers, brush your teeth. It's almost like none of this is real. <laughs> They're having to do work and the work at home. Unhinged. So yeah, it needs, like, there needs to be a bit of change at yes. home for me. Yes. Good night, Emma. Good night, ladies. Bye, bye. I'm just thinking about Emma. Oh, yeah. No one cares about her. Even her Ooh. husband. Uh, is this going to be an explosive choice. reunion, she girl? She, she chose that. Hope they can be some change at least. Do some things different for you. Differently, girls. Differently, girls! I hope. I have to put my phone on. Do not disturb. Um, Stop messaging me. All the best, Emma. Final morning in the wife swap houses, right. and both wives are packing to go. I'm actually a little bit nervous about going home. Just, yeah, I don't know what I'm going home to, or, yeah, things like that. And just, you know, I don't know how Paul and Lay's time went together. It's been huge with the different cultures, so I've learned a lot. Like, Chinese men are so different to Kiwi men. So, yeah, it's been, they're very, um, they do everything. Yeah, and extremely generous. Yeah, it's just been completely different. Almost like, you know, they care. <laughs> well, this week, we just kind of no more new person we meet each other I've, the every relationship she's worn, sometimes I've goes up sometimes goes down what well, is it's good friend but it's not a good husband for me okay. i'm still missing my husband he's the best husband in the world nothing like spending away a week with hateful people to learn how much you love something yeah Thanks for having me. I appreciate Goodbye. you guys did a lot of for me. Oh. Thank you for teaching me. Yeah, I think it's gone fairly well. It's gone quite quick. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing my wife again, so... Me too. <laughs> your husband? Yeah, yeah I'm not going... your wife. No, <laughs> I'm going to see my husband. Okay. Oh, of course. <laughs> thank you. Okay, but like, thank you. Aww. See you later. Okay? Yeah. Oh. I really hope the family keep up with the rule changes once I'm gone. Like, I really think that I feel Jason like her, will benefit from... These rule changes that she brought in is such a, like, strong phrasing for, like, should we put the toys back once we finished and maybe, like, bake together? Like, that's so, so mild compared to what the other family has experienced. Early bedtimes and the girls as well. Yeah, Ooh, I just feel it would work really well for them. See ya! Take your Louis Vuitton and leave! OK. Bye. Bye. Soon the husbands and wives will meet up again and Lay can't wait. I'm just so excited. Um, I bet I she can is. Meet Emma as well. Oh, yeah, so are they going to have the reunion be good. immediately? Yeah. We can be great, great friends. <laughs> we can be great, great friends. <laughs> I'm nervous. I don't think so. <laughs> Jackie, you're not though, eh? Yeah, I'm not. You're excited. Uh. Why might she be nervous, I wonder? Oh, he bought flowers. He bought nothing. Unvalued. Family girls! Thank you. The wives and husbands meet for the first time to talk about the experience. If I was Emma in this situation, I would be like, where's my flowers? You obviously didn't miss me that much, huh? Your two kids is so lovely. Right. Oh, they are teenager, yeah. but they are so different with the teenager, what have I heard it. Your girls are beautiful. I really love Lei Wen. She is just so special. She is just amazing. Thank you. Jackson, wow. Oh, he's full on. <laughs> <laughs> he's like the king of the house. <laughs> yeah, he is. Yeah, 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 yeah I, everything was around Jackson. <laughs> well, he is the youngest, the isn't he? He's like, me. <laughs> So obviously this week I've spent a lot of time with your Chinese friends and I've just, you know, got to see the culture and things like that. I can't believe that how generous you are as a culture as well and just like, you know, welcoming to people. And so much food for everything. <laughs> I, I need to go home for a diet. It's <laughs> just like there's so much food. Yeah. Yeah, I think we need to change that whole menu because in their house yeah, was so healthy. So healthy. Oh. <laughs> I even do any exercise, but I'm not worried if I put in any weight on it. Yeah, you probably wouldn't have put weight on it. <laughs> yeah, because it's so healthy. Yeah. And, but by the way, we left a lot of food for you. Did you? Yeah. yeah. So no, I learned a lot from your culture this week. This it was seems lovely. Yeah. Really what amicable. Did I, do? I didn't call But that man is like, I can't wait to say she don't do nothing. So we didn't do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See? She didn't follow my menu and I didn't follow your menu as well. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't 
I can't cook the menu what you left it for me oh. on the first night. Oh, okay. And I asked for the, I told him, I can't cook. And then my whole world fell apart. <laughs> <laughs> he got to <Majorly>. the... <laughs> Trust me. How did you follow Emma's rule changes? Oh, at the beginning, for the first two days, I actually didn't follow up. He did everything. <laughs> He can do everything, trust me. Why didn't you follow those rules? <laughs> because I think the house is really clean. I don't need to do it. I know, I know. You did it very well. Yeah. Everything was just like, oh, so tidy. And uh, on the third day, we changed the rules and he want to reverse it. He want me to try how oh, you yeah. doing it. Yeah. I tried it. Yeah. Because it's easy, already clean. And she did it pretty good, out of 100%, maybe 80%, 85%. So she did pretty good. You think like me and Emma? We, we, we know you guys can do that. Yeah. But uh, we just uh, happy to do that. Yeah. We don't feeling. If you see the body language between these couples, Lei and Jackie absolutely love each other. This feels more like a business partnership, but in a way that's kind of like one owns a majority shareholdership. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. No, 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 no. However, I will say this isn't as explosive as I thought just yet. I'm going to hold my heart there, that. It's a lot more calm, collected, a lot less scripted, a lot less high production value than Why Swap Australia has been. I'm still a little bit on the edge of my seat though, because I'm like, oh, what's going to happen next? We, we do too much job in the house. So what I'm trying to get across is that I think you do way too much and Lay doesn't do much at all. And she's treated like a bit of a princess, so. Actually, I don't really want to do that. I, I want she to become a, like a princess. I want, I want she yes! to be... that, That's really your choice, but that, that doesn't wash in my eyes. Yeah. I wouldn't be happy with but that. But I will help you. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. I will do some more jobs. Because and... you don't want to be a slave. You don't want to work hard and, and it's all one-sided. What have you learned, babe? I changed some roles for your kids. Yeah? I asked them to pack their lunch by themselves. They are really happy on it. Yeah. yeah so be, yeah. in the future, they always wanted to do it. Yeah. you probably need to yeah. back off on yeah. their lunch pack. Sorry, did your children, did they make their lunches? No, Jackie doesn't. Yeah. So you make the lunches as well? <laughs> yeah. And dinner? Yeah. And clean? Yeah. Oh, mate. <laughs> That's a... You need to come and live with me for a week. <laughs> Honestly, if this show ever reruns, we should do. We should, we should come and live together. Could we do it now? <laughs> yeah, because he. Oh, a joke there. Can we do it now? Yeah, as in she wants some time away. This is very like, I'm not looking for a wife. I'm looking for a house manager who I can sometimes bang. <laughs> I've had a, um, an interesting time because I've never met anyone like Lay. I thought, wow, well, what have I got? I've got another child in my house. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I definitely learned how to have a little bit more fun on a different level. No, you haven't. Um, whether I liked it or not, I don't know. I think you'd be too much for me. <laughs> I definitely think I'd do my head in. <laughs> Because he's taking everything for seriously. The way I see it is you just try and get all the good positives out of every little thing. Yes. Yeah, yeah, which but is a good thing. You've got to have a bit of seriousness as well. No. You, know? you can be positive and still serious. The limit. Yeah, the limit. Are you I'm glad you, you did, did it? it. Mm, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah same. Yeah. Because I, I bet they're glad. I bet they're like, oh my god, not going back, not ever going to be like them. Uh. Before, I was like, no, nope, not going to do it now. I'm really enjoying it. Yeah. yeah. I'm sad it's over now. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. You taught me heaps. Thank you. Oh. Look at the band. Oh, no. <laughs> you know, she was dying to not do good vibes. vibes. Thank you so much. And with so one much. huge wipe, it's all over, and the reunited pairs head home with plenty to think about. I actually really enjoyed it, though. I enjoyed it, but yeah. I missed you here. Yeah, same. But I did enjoy it. I, I, Really glad I did it. Did you miss her or did you miss her service to you? You probably didn't have someone so energized. No, no. Mm. Mm. It's really good. Back to you. Mm. They are in love. Oh, look at the dog. Hey. Right. It feels really good to be home. What's yeah, going to really change? Cool to Absolutely nothing. And stuff and yeah, just not eat so much. I felt like we gained friends from, you know, after the table meeting today and that, and I just feel like we'll stay in touch. Yeah, it was really cool. I'm just He's I'm so like, I don't want to know them. I'm able to meet them. Oh my god, the credits are in the side. Is that normal? Amazing. I really enjoy it, but I'm missing my kids and my husband so much. Six is a really good time. 
I can't handle any more day. <laughs> Tonight on White. And that's the end, my loves. That's the end. I'm so, that's such a bizarre ending. There's no like, and they chose to do this, and they chose to do that. It doesn't really feel like much of a resolution, but I've got some thoughts. So, my lovelies, let me know what you think about what we've seen in today's episode in the comments box below, because I've got some thoughts. If this was me, if I was on this show, you would absolutely not catch me entertaining that husband's nonsense at all. If you can't have a joke and a giggle with your spouse, I mean, granted, she's not really his spouse in this situation. She's just kind of like, I couldn't cook. <laughs> How funny, let's cook together. I personally don't see the problem with that. He felt very attacked, though, at that point. He felt like, my ego is bruised and I must make an example of this woman. It's funny how his rejection of the rules was not brought up at the, the like, table meeting at the end there. The idea that he tried to spearhead the conversation and just be like, well, I don't care about any of all that, actually. We're doing it my way, girls. I don't think we learned what he did why he did it. He was a shift worker, but Emma was a manager of a dental practice and did all of the housework, all of the cleaning, all of the cooking. That is so much work. That's like easily 80, 90 hours a week. No wonder why she was getting up at 4.45 in the morning. That is so blech. I'd be really interested to know if there is a where are they now or whatever they did after this show. That was really bizarre though. It just... It really showed me that there is such a huge family dynamic difference from when a certain family has really uplifting and encouragement and like a, a wonderful, lively, lively, full of energy like situation versus like a strict pressure exerting patriarchal family that runs like a business. Like I feel like if I was had to spend any time with that man, he would be trying to exert a pressure just by his presence being there. And I have no time at all for men who do that. None. Let me know what you guys think about what we've seen in today's video in the comments box below, because I'm very interested. I've seen some things in this that I've seen mirrored in my own life that I'm not entirely sure I like and that I'm glad I'm not doing anymore. Goodbye. And with that, my lovelies, it's time for the Patreons. You can see yourselves scrolling past on the screen here, my loves. Yes, you can. Little Biscuit is currently having a little sleep on his pillow over here, so I don't really want to wake him up to do the Twitch shout-out. So, today's Twitch shout-out goes to Erica. Mm, thank you for following me over on Twitch, you stunning woman on the go. And if you want to be in with a chance of being featured in my next video's Twitch shout-out, make sure you follow me on Twitch. It is Luxaria Plays, and I stream every Monday and Thursday, my lovelies. And you know what? As always, I want to say a massive thank you to to my top tier Patreons, Aloria, Laura Ali, Luke Peterson, Orcos Samoji, Amanda, Beebles32, Shell Herman, Christy Crownover, Christina Kyle, ContraPoints, Danielle, Danny Smith, Darina Pina, Elizabeth Stone, Eric Castillo, Jen Martin, Jennebeth Herman, Caitlin Wright, Laura Jane, Les Banana, Mazel Morel, Min Min TM, Mariah Sherman, Nadia Hamdi, Nixie Tricks, Paolo Rivera, Ryan Vita, Sexy Taxi RN, Slampire Queen, Steffi Tech, The Chaos Collective, Travelful, Tromo, Victoria Carella, and Zoe. Sevier. And you know what, my loves? I'm gonna leave it on the note of if you see a man with a bruised ego, it's probably best to avoid. Just avoid. It's not worth it, is it really, sis? And if you want to see me do more Why Swap New Zealand, shout off in the comments box below. Shout at each other. Go on, shout! Shout, girls! Caps lock!